morning. It's another day in Bar Harbor and I didn't vlog much yesterday because we were with Dan's parents for a good portion of the afternoon and I just didn't feel, I still don't feel comfortable vlogging around other people. <laughs> I don't think they'd care but I still don't quite feel comfortable yet to do that. But to sum up yesterday, we took a look around the Abbey Museum and then we went to Side Street Cafe for dinner and then got ice cream at Bill and Ben, ben and Bill's. Bills. Ben and Bill's. I didn't get ice cream but everybody else did. It was a bit chilly for ice cream by the time we actually got it. So I had a blanket wrapped around me because I didn't bring my sweatshirt. It had cooled down really fast after dinner so I wasn't expecting that. Dinner was really good. Yeah, I had mac and cheese with grilled chicken, a gluten-free mac and cheese. They had a lot of things there that can be made gluten-free, so yeah. if you are gluten-free, Side Street Cafe is definitely one of the places you should visit if you are ever in Bar Harbor. Also, if anyone wants to visit the Abbey Museum, spelled A-B-B-E, I used to work there. It's a lovely place. It's a whole Native American museum uh, that is dedicated to the ever-growing history and lives of the Wabanaki Confederation as far as the, the tribes associated in Maine. Really good place. It's currently closed though right now. Yeah, the Abbey, COVID. the Abbey is closed, but because Dan's mom works there, we were able to get in and look around a little bit because I had never been there. Dan's been there. <laughs> Well, he used to work there, so I he to, knows that place inside and out. I used to work there, and on top of that, I was going there ever since I was a small child. Mm -hmm. and today is going to be our main shopping day because it is kind of rainy today, so it's not a good outdoorsy day. So right now we are headed to the winery to get some wine. Yeah, we're going to, it's called Bar Harbor Cellars. It's a really good wine place parents have gotten us wine there. They've gotten wine there. We're actually picking up some wine for them, but it's really good stuff. Um, we're going there, then we're going to go to Ben and Bill's. Hopefully they won't be too busy because they also sell chocolate there. And I have yeah. a gift card for $25 to spend there and I want to spend it wisely. It is the next day. I didn't vlog anything else on Wednesday but the gist of it is that we went shopping throughout Bar Harbor and we got a bunch of things which I'll probably show you guys in a second but today has been a day I woke up kind of not in the best mood either because my ears got all plugged up so it's hard for me to like one ear feels very muted makes everything sound muted while the other one is fine what did we do today? We went to the beach. We went to Echo Lake Beach. We went to Echo Lake Beach, and then we went to the Astico Azalea, Azalea Gardens, which was really pretty. But I was, but I was. She was in a mood. I was in a mood. <laughs> I just did not. I was just not having it today. Tonight we're having lobster, but we had quite the journey to Hannaford today. We went to Hannaford. And we went in for like 10 minutes to get what we needed, and then we came out and the car wouldn't start. I hate my car. Yep, and we don't know why it wouldn't start, so I ended up calling AAA, which they said it would be about an hour before anyone would get to us. Mm. The second I hung up the phone, the I, car started. I was about to say, I, I, <laughs> so, I turned the key and it started. If anyone out there is a mechanic, uh, I would love to know your input on this. Uh, the trouble is, I turn the key, uh, nothing rolls over, all the pumps start, so and all the electricity starts, but I turn the key, it just does not start the engine. And this has been a progressing issue with my car. When we know it's not the battery. It's not the battery, it's nothing along the It's not the ignition. It's not the engine. He got everything checked. I've gotten it checked. And they can't, like, Sullivan Tire can't find an issue. So we don't know why it's not starting. The biggest thing that they ended up doing is that they ended up replacing what they call a serpentine belt, which is a big belt in the middle of the car itself. 
no, actually makes the engine go. Besides the pistons and everything along those lines. But yeah, that's the last thing that, that they end up replacing on it. The last time, because this is like the secondary time this has happened, not just in general. Uh, the first time that this ended up happening here, they replaced the whole computer console within my car. I don't want to pay that kind of money again to fix it. Mm-hmm. Um, to be fair, I have been debating getting a new car anyways, so... For those that want to know, it's a 2012 Ford Escape. Uh, I've had it for obviously a few years now. And at this point here, it is reaching about eight years. Um, I got it used with very little mileage and usage on it because the guy just traded it in for a new car. But yeah, some car troubles. Hopefully we can get home. We do have a secondary plan if we can't get the car to start on Sunday when we're heading home. We don't know if it'll be time for a new car or if we can take it someplace else and they can fix whatever problem it is. Stay tuned to find out what happens. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Next time on Car Trouble with Dan. <laughs> ah, They look so yummy. We also has corn cooking and all that butter. There's also garlic in that butter. I like garlicky butter. Abby's over there. Oh, hi. Hi. There she is. She's laying down. She has a bit of a headache. Yeah. I like how the, I'm still laughing at the fact that the guy is like, do you want these lobsters alive or dead? I know it's a point of contention in the world right now as far as if a lobster is alive or not. Um, or if you should kill it before throwing it in the pot. A lobster probably has three things going through the tiny little neurons that you might want to call a brain. I'm horny, meaning it's time for mate. I'm hungry, meaning you gotta eat. I'm peeling, which is it's shedding. I don't think a lobster has much thought process as far as what is pain? What is my life in the universe? Why am I existing? Abby's getting a notification off of our ring doorbell thing. Not doorbell, but security camera. Not only that, I stuck these lobsters live in the hot water and it stopped moving about two seconds after putting it in. While we're waiting for the food to cook, I thought I would show you what we got in Bar Harbor yesterday. So, first of all, we went to a store called Into the Woods, and we got this really adorable cat puzzle for our friend's new baby. I'm going to buy so much stuff there for our kids, for our, our kids, for our friend's kids, and so forth, because, in all honesty, they, they follow Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Mm -hmm. It's cute, it's adorable, and... You know, all these edges and such are smoothed and sand to a point in which no splinters are going to occur. For my sister's cat, I got, we went to another store called Bark Harbor. We got this catnip claw for my sister's cat. We got some salmon treats for our cats. And we also got Patches this catnip pillow, because he loves catnip toys. Georgia's not really interested, so I just stuck with getting some treats. We also went to Ben and Bill's and used my $25 gift card on some milk chocolate truffles. Ben and Bill's is one of the best places to fight me. I got 24 of them. Well, I ate one, so there's 23 left. And then we have our giant box of Bar Harbor sellers of all the wine that we got. Yeah, and we're having some tonight. Yeah, we're having their, that one is Pinot Grigio. We also got cranberry wine and blueberry wine, and then we got some wine for your dad. Yeah, my dad asked me to, to pick up some wine for him. Blueberry wine is really good. It's a really sweet red wine. Abby and I are suckers for anything sweet, so it's really yeah. good. The cranberry one, I wanted to try it out. It sound, it probably is along the same lines as far as a sweet wine. Yeah. But if it's a little bit tart in itself, I will not be angry whatsoever. 
because obviously it's cranberries. And there is our lobsters. There's Dean's lobster, and I have a smaller lobster. And we have wine. You're yeah? filming me. Yeah? Just eating my corn. Yeah? That's all. What were you saying? I was going to be in trouble? He poured more wine into my wine glass, even though he knows that I am drunk as hell right now. Did I do that? Oh. Yeah, you gosh did. Gosh darn me. It's almost like I want you to enjoy yourself and have a bit of fun. <laughs> Except I don't want to get too drunk. I still want to have a sense of what's going on around me, you know? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have a sense around you. You're just, you're just such a lightweight. I'm just silly. Such a lightweight. Today is our last day in Bar Harbor, and we have already had quite a day. It's 5.30 now. And we went back to shopping and bought a couple more things. And we played more mini golf. We played the 36 hole uh, game this time. So both courses and Dan beat me again, <laughs> except by a lot. I think in the hard course, you got 65 and I got 71. You also stroked out to 10 strokes. I did on one of the holes. I just could not get it. It was a pain. Yeah, it was like <laughs> raised up in the center. Mm -hmm. It was the most annoying thing ever. Yeah. We are headed, well, we're gonna walk around a little bit first and then we have a reservation at Galen's at 6.30. Yeah, fancy date night. Yep, I am dressed up all fancy. I'm obviously wearing way too much jewelry apparently to some people. He has a ring on all of his fingers except his it's ring finger, which will be the wedding band. Yeah. I told myself I wouldn't get 10 rings until I was married and sure enough, here I am. Dan of the Nine Rings. To be fair, I've had a lot of comparisons to this. Um, I've been compared to Mandarin from Marvel Comics, who wears uh, Nine Rings. Um, I've been compared to Sauron from Lord of the Rings. I like wearing rings. Yeah, it's literally foggy every day and every night in Bar Harbor. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. I mean, you're in an enclosed sea bay, bank bay itself. We are back on the shore path. And Dan is down there exploring. It's very foggy. I don't know if you can see those sailboats over there. 